What's good, people? Um, just wanted to touch on the whole Joel Osteen matter. Uh, and before anybody either messages me or gets underneath this post and is, wants to talk crazy or something like that, this is not directed at anybody specifically. Nobody. And I know I've commented on other people's posts. Uh, my homegirl Tiffany, no, this isn't directed at you. My homegirl uh, Nikila, no, this isn't directed at you. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of people that are writing about it. And I just wanted to do a quick video instead of just sending out a post to say all that stuff. Um, listen, Joel Osteen is a great minister. I'm going to say that. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with people who uh, operate mega churches. Not necessarily. I believe the proof is in the pudding. If you operate a mega church and your church is deeply um, rooted in the community and you're helping that community to thrive as well as being a mega church pastor, hey, awesome. That's great. I have no problem with you. You're doing the Lord's work, sir. But you don't do them any favors when you're caping for them regardless of what they're doing. You know, um, yes, people should investigate before they post videos, post pictures and stuff like that. Yes, people definitely should do that. Um, but before we go to defend somebody, we should do that as well. Um, Joel Osteen, uh, for people who don't know, yesterday his Facebook page or the Facebook page of the church um, said that they would they were closed for uh, because of the the flooding. Um, there has been both reports and actual video of people in Houston who, in fact, one guy went actually up to um, the church and took a YouTube video. You can go on YouTube and check it out where the church is dry. The inside of the church is dry. Um, even the parking area that's a little bit lower, that area is dry, too. Um, it's there for people who are displaced and who need some place to be, you know, just like the 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 dome in Louisiana was used for people that were displaced. So it's there and it's dry and it's a place where people can get uh get to and and there's refuge there. There were cars driving in the background. So you can get to the church. Um so reports saying that you can't get to the church uh, not true. Um they they made a bad decision. They made a bad move saying that they were going to close their churches because in their minds they were thinking, well, there's other places that people can go to. It doesn't matter if there's other places where people can go to. You're a church. You're beholden to the community. The community helped to build that uh, build that church and, and help donate to to have all of the land that that church sits on. So when the community needs help, the church shouldn't be an option or one of the the secondary or third tier options it should be the first one out there saying hey not only are we going to be open but we're going to come with blankets we're going to come we're going to see if we have if we can bring in extra clothes hey i'm a pastor i, I have a private uh helicopter i'm gonna take that private helicopter and i'm going to deliver water and i'm going to do this that and the other because that's the job of the church and when the church isn't doing that job it's right for people to criticize. We can't we have to stop with this mindset that pastors are above reproach, that ministers are above reproach. You're not doing them any favors when you do that. You're not. You're what you're doing is you're helping to add to this pious attitude that no matter what they do, somehow it can be explained away as being, you know, well, it's meant God meant for this to happen. And, you know, don't don't get on me because something happened that or because I made a bad decision, God may have uh, uh, directed my mind to make that decision so that you could grow and you could learn. We have to stop doing that because we're not doing them any favors as men, as women. We have to hold them accountable for their words. We have to hold them accountable for their actions, whether it's Paula White and her uh, caping for Trump or whether it's Joel Osteen and him not opening his doors uh, in a flooded area where his church parishioners could actually get to his church and actually have a dry place to sleep. We have to hold these people accountable. And when we do that, we make them better. Now, he's doing God's work, but when the people are holding him accountable, the people are doing God's work too. All right, I'm out.